I'm in Paradise, California, where the campfire ravaged this area just days ago. And now with the sun rising over Paradise with recovery efforts continuing, a new threat is evolving with the flash flood watch in effect through the end of the week. And it looks like several inches of rain could fall here across Northern California with the highest amounts right here in the upslope area on the western slopes of the Sierra Nevadas. And that's a very bad situation here in the campfire in this burn scar area because mudslides and debris flows are gonna be a huge problem and that will develop later on this afternoon with this initial wave of precipitation and then a more substantial wave comes in Thursday night into Friday and that'll make the lands landslide mudslide debris flow situation even worse here uh, not only across the campfire burn scar but also the Mendocino complex fire and the car fire on the west side of Reading highway 299 and interstate 5 up there could easily be impacted later on today and it'll only take an inch or two of rain to cause flash flood potential and the threat for those deadly mudslides. So with several inches of rain falling here, it's gonna create a very dangerous situation across Northern California through the end of the week. Light rain has begun to fall here across Paradise, California as recovery efforts continue. You can see personnel here doing search and rescue still. Base camp is just down the road. And as these rainfall rates continue to increase, especially this afternoon, these recovery efforts will begin to be impacted. And then as those rainfall rates continue to increase, there could also be the threat for deadly mudslides and debris flows, not only across the campfire burn scar, but also the Mendocino complex further north uh, to the west side of Redding. The car fire burn scar there will be particularly prone to damaging flash floods and debris flows later on. That includes Highway 299 as well as Interstate 5 across the car fire burn scar. But the most impactful uh, part of this will be hampering of the recovery efforts. Uh, but you certainly 
certainly want to heed all those evacuation warnings, if you, especially if you live in and around these burn scars, because there just isn't any vegetation to anchor that topsoil in place, and it will only take a few inches of rain to cause a very destructive landslide situation.